Fan Beatin, Fan Beatin, Hankus. Yeah, I, I said that. I said that. Your Pankus. Your Pankus. Um, would it be rude if um, Ruminega and Uli Hornes gave Hankus a call and say, Yo, can you come and see what up? I don't know, that would not be rude, but I'm just saying, what if they actually did, did that? Um, it seems as if your Pankus just has that magic dust. It seems like he has the magic dust. He should have actually have won three cells by well, by the way. But he's a he's a two CL winner with Real Madrid and of course with Man United, the travel, amazing travel. Um and Ban have not been the same since. And they just seem to be a team lost without the guidance of your Pinkers, who one hundred percent is one of the best managers of his generation. An absolute G of a manager. But for Bayern Munich, you know, they have... To, I, have I'm, I will be real, I've been very disappointed. For a team of the stature, a team that demands so much, one of the biggest clubs in the world, they have grossly underperformed in the CL. Now, I get it, they, they, they lost to the winners last season. They lost to the winners last season and they had their issues with Nico Kovac. Still, the way they, they got pimped at their crib, you can get you, you can't get pem, you cannot get bent over and pimp such a crib like that. That that, that cannot happen. Um, so let's look, look at said players right now. Coutinho. Coutinho is going to be key. Um, I've had my misgivings about Coutinho. I felt that he's overrated. He ain't that great. But I but I will still say that maybe this Bayern thing is a good fit for him. And maybe there is there is something good here that he can get at Bayern Munich. And I do feel that if he can come in and really bring in that kind of 2018 World Cup form to this Bayern team. I think it can give them something completely different, some, and, and, and a whole different tactic, a whole different mind frame to this Bayern side. So I just think that in that sense, it, it, could, he could, it could be very important. It could, it could be very important for, for these boys. So that's, that's going to be key. Having your boy um, continue saying say what's someone Look, man. I think a great motivator is, I'm going to prove you wrong. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Continue playing all for Bayern. Leads them on the way. That would be a massive F you to Barca. Massive F you. And if he does that, because I think Bayern have said that, mm, I don't think we're going to take the option to, to buy a dude. But if he can be given the opportunity and say what's up for Bayern, bro, you, then you have your chance to be at Bayern. Because I don't think Coutinho wants to go back to, to Barcelona. So if you want to stay at Bayern, Nick, Show up for, for these boys in the CL. Gennabri, one of the most exciting young players out there and a guy who I cannot wait to watch at the Euros this summer. Can wait? So, um, and Sir Gennabri, who was voted Bayern's best player last season, has come, come, out, come out big. You're playing a very important position. You're playing that wide attacking position. And I think in terms of the inside thoughts of the wide men, Gennabri is the best wide man that they have. I think he is better than Perisic. I think he's also better than Kingsley Coman as well. So for Gennabri, you're going to have to come out big time. And you're going to have to now take your games at the next level. Because even if you're young, it's, you cannot even use an ex ex excuse right now. You're that good. We saw what you did to Tottenham at their crib. You are that good and this is your time to really grab the mantle. When we know what your predecessors in the same position did, i.e. Robin and the Ribery, it's that time to emulate them because you play a crucial role, not only in terms of goal scoring, so just what is what is um, demanded of you as an inside forward in the modern game, but also for providing and working with your boy Robert Lewandowski. So for Gennabri, you're going to have to be flipping huge. The wall, the Munich wall himself, the German wall, Manuel Neuer. People are going to write him off. Oblak, Stiegen, Stiegen, Oblak, Oblak, Stiegen. Neuer will be like, I'm their father. I own them. I made them. Because people say, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I don't give a damn. I believe the birth of the sweeper keeper was the 2014 World Cup game between Germany and Algeria. For me, the greatest goalkeeping performance I've ever seen in a World Cup. That's just, uh, maybe we're saying wrong. I believe the birth of the sweeper keeper of let's now make goal goalkeepers do a lot more with their feet and actually come out and actually be extra defenders 
was Noah's performance against Algeria, which for me is the best goalkeeping performance in a World Cup game. And I think for Noah will be like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I ain't done yet. Don't write me off. I can still say what's up. And Noe has even come out and said that now, nah, Bayern, don't sleep on us. Don't sleep on us. Because we're still Bayern Munich. And I think for Bayern Munich to go far, Noe has to rekindle his old form and make ungodly saves. Because we know what Noe can do. We know what he can do. Stiegen is on top of the hill. And for me, I've always said Stiegen should be Germany's number one. You know, and you can't just use legacy and everything. I think Stiegen is the better keeper. But Neuer can say that, look, Stiegen, I respect you. But if, if, if this is a meritocracy, I'm going to prove to you why I am your biological father. And I am actually still the best keeper in the world right now. The Polish nuke, Lewandowski. I could write an essay about this. This could, this could be a 10-minute video in and of itself. But for the sake of this video, I will try and trun truncate this. I still believe you're the best striker in the world. I still believe that you're the closest thing to Ronaldo that we've ever seen. Um, your ability is outstanding. I and I, I know what you are capable of. And it would be a bitter disappointment if that incredible ability wasn't translated in a Champions League. Um, you should have done more, especially during the Pepe Arish, you should have done more. But for Lewandowski, you have all the, you have all the skill in the world. And if I was, if I was Hansi Flick, I'll tell Lewandowski as sad as that. And I would say to Lewandowski, this isn't about ability. It is not about your ability. You already have it. It's about this. Once we now get into the Champions League and everything, it's your mentality. It's all your mentality. It's not about your ability. We know what you can do. But if you don't, are not in the right state of mind, you won't su succeed at this level. Because in the Bundesliga against a Mainz, against a Hertha Berlin, against a Leipzig or so forth, it's all about your ability. But when you are playing the elites of the elites, it's not, your, 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 your ability is 40%. 60% is your mentality. Ask Zidane and the Real Madrid team. They'll, they'll try and say, okay, what was that this? In private, they'll say, we just had an, a resounding winning mentality. We just had a resounding belief. And because trust me, the mind can do amazing things. The mind can do amazing things. The, the mind is greater than the, the body. The body is the mind's um, lap dog. Okay? So, for Lewandowski, man, you have to prove yourself. Because again, I still defend you. But there's all, and, and when people say, why are you defending a dude who's never really shown up in the, in the Champions League? I don't have much of a response. Because that is a great argument. I don't, I, I don't know how to respond when people say that. I'm like, well, you know. God, you've got to make it happen. So for Hansi Flick, you know, um, he didn't think he was going to get the job. Many people thought that Nico Kovac would be replaced by either a Pochettino or a Mourinho or a Wenger. But he has the, the job right now. It is his. It is his, it is his right now. And for Hansi Flick, you know, trying to um, you know, hold on to the Bundesliga. But if he can bring the CL back, something that Bayern haven't won for like seven years, it would do huge things. And for Bayern, they can win it. They have, they don't, they not only have the, the players, there are guys that know what it means to win. There are guys that know what it means to, to go all the way. And I think that's always a very important asset to, to have. Um, and all it's going to be about is getting it right. Because once Bayern, if Bayern can just come together and gel and find their rhythm, that's the key thing. Once, if they find their rhythm, I think they can do some, some serious things. I think they can, they can do some serious things because never underestimate um, German planning and preparation, German planning and tactical preparation. So if they can just come together, find the rhythm, but most importantly, play for Lewandowski, provide for Lewandowski and put Lewandowski in the best position to, to deliver. Yes, deliver! But in the best position to deliver, then maybe Banini can save what's up and emulate Schweinsteiger and Bat Simpson era.
become a football hut member and gain access to cool emojis on the live streams and get access to new YouTube content by clicking the join button here. And to view that new content crack, head over to the YouTube channel homepage and click on the community tab over here.